Let's write a C program to copy elements of one array to another array. Make sure both of these arrays have same size. So let me explain this with an example. Suppose we have an array variable a of 5. Now we need to copy the individual elements of a of 5 to another array variable b of 5. So let me even show you code snippet here. So the first for loop is used to accept five numbers from the user and store it inside array variable a of 5. This is the original array variable a of 5. We need to now copy the individual elements of a of 5 to b of 5 one by one. So both of these for loop look similar because the size of the array is same and we achieve it using macros. Now inside second for loop we copy the individual elements of a of 5 to b of 5. Okay. So let me show the same in in source code. Okay. So I'll take i for for loop. Let me assign the size of these arrays using macros. That's the ideal way of doing it. So now let me write a of n, b of n. Now let me output a message to the user that is enter percentage d integer numbers and the value is present inside macro n. Now let me write a for loop to accept five numbers for a of n because macro n has value 5 okay scan f so address of a of i so i varies from 0 to n n minus 1 by the way i is less than n means n minus 1 okay so now let me output a message to the user that is copying elements e l e m e n t s of array a to b Oh, we forgot double quotes here. Okay, so let me have a for loop here to copy individual elements of array variable A to B. So I is initialized to 0. This for loop iterates from 0 to n minus 1. For each iteration of this for loop, I increments by 1. So A of I is assigned to B of I. The index is same for both of these arrays at the same index the values individual elements of array variable a will be copied for to array variable b now let me output the message that is original let me have only original a of i sorry a of n actually instead of n i am i am using percentage d here so the copy now which is present inside b of n so instead of n i'll have percentage d so the percentage d value is present inside n n comma n okay now the for loop to display the values elements present inside a and b so for loop printf percentage d to print a of i by the way let us have some spacing here tabs slash t means tab three space character okay second percentage d for b of i so a of i comma b of i so first let's see if it works properly let me compile and run this program let me give five enter 5 integer numbers yeah 5 2 6 4 and 3 so copying original a of 5 b of 5 so both are same now that means a of the very uh, individual elements of array variable a has been copied to array variable b so let let us align it a bit i'll do percentage 4d and 60 maybe so this 4d60 is like css padding slash t slash and all or like margin okay look at the difference yourself so it's aligned clearly here so the individual elements of array variable a has been copied to array variable b perfectly now what's the advantage of taking a macro 
to define the size of arrays one thing both these arrays must have same size okay now where and all I have inserted n here 4 5 6 7 8 8 times in this small program now I'll change the value of n at one place I'll change it to 10 that's it now this program accepts 10 digits and does its job I'll, I'll enter 10 digits now 1 5 9 7 5, 3 2 8 4 6 and and maybe 10 itself okay that completes 10 digits I guess yeah so now the original array has this these elements and the copied copy of it is at b of 10 and it has exact copy of a of 10 right so that's the beauty of using macros change the code at one place and it applies to the entire source code very very handy now let me replace it with 6 I'm just showing it works for other sizes of the array too perfectly yeah so the variables array variables of a has been perfectly copied to array variable b so that's it so first thing make use of macros to assign size of the array because both of these arrays array variables must 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 have same size okay after that enter n number of elements to the original array and then copy the individual elements of original array to the to b of n okay to which we need to copy the elements of original array once that's done use regular for loop and display the elements of both arrays array variables a and b that's it so percentage 4 percentage 6 and slash t i already explained that that's used to just align the these numbers a bit on the console window okay so that's how we make use of macros and arrays to copy the elements of one array to another array okay so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog and Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. And also please share the link present in the description section of this YouTube video. Please share that link with your friends. Okay. Thanks a lot.